Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. This is a, a very different update to the one I, I was hoping to give. So I had my juvenile emperor and queen angel and a powder blue I added three weeks ago yesterday. Um, disaster. It's um, caused a, a huge outbreak of marine velvet. Now, some of the fish have been really badly affected. Obviously, the powder blue and the two angels have both died since. Now, I'll show you my sailfin, poor fellow. He's really badly affected, but he's started eating again today at least. So, which is better than yesterday, which he was just hiding behind the rock. As you can see, my trigger's ineffective up to now. Um, my purple tang, which is probably my prize fish, he's been generally ineffective, unaffected. My fox face, he has been affected. Um, he's looking a lot better again today and feeding though, so that, that's always a bit, a bit positive. Um, as you can see, my... Blue Tang, he's been pretty much unaffected, as of my puffer, and all the rats, they've been absolutely fine. Um, my clowns, my clarky clown, my female, my large female, looking a bit rough, I don't know if you'll see that. So, you're probably thinking, at first I, I did say in a, a previous update that I thought it was... Um, white spot but as it got more severe it, it became clear it was velvet so you're probably asking what have i done what, have I, what am i doing to to remedy this well, obviously for the three new fish they've all gone but none of my existing fish have died although i will i will place bets now will the south in make it as i said he started eating and moving around a bit more today so hopefully He'll come through this. So you're sort of left with very few options with marine velvet. I was thinking, do I try and... I have got a three-foot tank, but there's no way I'd get all these fish in. And that, I was thinking about using a copper med medication. But like I say, you I can't get all these fish in a three-foot tank. Plus the stress of catching them, the copper stress... Is that going to do more harm than good? So I decided not to go with that. Suppose the second option would have been just leave it and see who survives, who doesn't. But I didn't feel that was great either. You've got to try and do something. So looking at all the cures and what's available on the market, I just took a bit of a gamble. This stuff's been around for a few years. So this is... I don't know how you'd say it, Escher, Escher Udenex, probably saying that all wrong, wide range marine treatment, invertebrate and reef friendly, so that's the bottle, so I thought, right, I'll try it, what's the worst that could happen, so I added the, the recommended dose, it's something like 25 drops on the first day per um for per hundred liters so i ended up putting about 150 drops in it clouded the water up i did turn off my uv and my skimmer so i'm not too worried about that obviously i don't want the the uv to degrade the the whatever the ingredients are in the, the wide range marine treatment but in all fairness after doing that this morning, it's now 8 o'clock at night, it does seem to have had an effect. It initially really clouded the water, and it's still a bit cloudy to be honest, but nothing too bad, nothing unsightly. And it brought out the, the most affected fish, which is obviously my poor sailfin. He's looking really ripped up. The... Um, Foxface has been a lot more himself today, although you might just about be able to see a few lesions. Like I say, it brought them out feeding, so I'm happy with that. I've run in a, a couple of air stones in my tank now, just to make sure 
the oxygen levels don't drop and we'll see how this goes now this um, treatment this Isha Udenex it's a three day thing so first day it's 25 drops per 100 litres and then the second day and third day it's half of what you put in the first day so we'll see how this works I'll keep you updated and um, wish me luck and any comments or helpful hints and tips you've got I'm always willing to listen thanks a lot bye